In our community report tonight, the city of Savannah creating new ways to help people affected by homelessness in our area. Mayor Von Johnson says more resources will soon be on the way. And WSAV's Chase Justice joins us now from the newsroom with more on that. During last week's city council meeting, council members unanimously voted to create up to 50 new dwellings and a resident service building for those facing homelessness. The new homes will be called the Dundee Cottages and will be located in East Savannah near the Tiny Homes Project at the Cove at Dundee, which currently houses veterans that are struggling with homelessness. It makes available about $3.2 million for infrastructure, up to $2.5 million from the Savannah Affordable Housing Fund, for the construction of cottages and a resident services building on vacant city land on which these improvements will be made. The new housing project will welcome all those affected with no place to call home. The city also approved funding for the creation of the Savannah Homelessness Outreach Team, or SHOT for short. They'll aim to put boots on the ground, targeting at-risk individuals and families. There are people who are homeless um, but don't have to be homeless. They have low hanging fruit issues that can be addressed right away um, by either a simple call, be it transportation. And so this is kind of our onboard team to be able to address those issues. Mayor Johnson says he hopes the county will get involved with the project. Those that currently call the COVID Dundee home say they're looking forward to new neighbors. They say the more resources the city makes available for our roofless neighbors, the better. This is the get people off the streets, get them a place and make them feel uh, secure and, uh, and, and a part of a community. So I'm just glad to be a part of this program and I'm glad to be out here talking about it. According to Mayor Van Johnson, the Dundee Village area is where City Council felt there was the biggest concentration of Savannah's homeless population and that's where they wanted to start this project. Reporting in Savannah, Chase Justice, WSAV News 3, on your side.